We're going to be starting with the uploaded file and we're going to talk about our preserve geometry. So this is going to be the first step in the generative process. To do this, we want to go from our design workspace into our generative design. As soon as we enter generative design, a new study is going to be created. You'll notice a few things change. Our canvas image is now gone because we're not editing any geometry. It's automatically hidden. However, all of our model components are still shown. and We can see on screen that already a load has been applied for gravity. So to get started, we're going to expand model components and we're going to take a look at the frame. Some components have already been created for us. We have the stem area or the head tube. And this is where the main portion of the frame is going to connect with our front end. We have mounting lugs on the motor. And in this case, the original motorcycle was a Ducati Monster. And this engine is actually a structural member. The frame connects to the engine and then the swing arm and the rear suspension connect to the engine as well. The frame does not completely surround the engine. So this is a great example of a case where generative will come in extremely handy for allowing us to have the freedom of this design. So there are a few things that we're going to consider when we are setting up this frame. Our steering, the mounts to our motor, as well as the upper shock mounts. There's also some additional geometry back here that would represent a position of a rider on a seat. For this specific example, we're going to omit those, and those will just be there later if you want to play around with the setup of another study and maybe look into how the loads of the rider will affect the overall design of the frame. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to select Preserve Geometry. And then we want to select the regions that we want to preserve. And again, these are going to be the mounting bosses on either side of the engine that have already been created inside of our frame component, as well as the upper shock mounts, and then we can say OK. Once those are selected, you can see that they've now turned green. So this is the first step in the process of setting up a generative design by telling it exactly what geometry we want to keep. One thing you will notice is that this is fairly simplified geometry. The mounting bosses will have more detail to them. The openings for the hardware will be a little bit larger. They might be a recess or a counter bore. So keep in mind that when we're setting these studies up, we don't need to have completely fully detailed parts and we want to keep them as simplified as possible. Once we have those set up, let's go ahead and navigate back to a view where we can see the entire part and save our file so we can move on to the next step. 